All right, welcome to Talking Investing. I'm Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I want to talk to you guys about Argo Blockchain. They're a Bitcoin miner. Their NASDAQ stock ticker is ARBK. So they put out their monthly operational update on Friday, and their stock's been going up quite a bit since then. So I want to go through that operational update and talk about what's going on. And we'll take a look at Argo. We'll take a look at their August reports. I do have one pretty big concern with them. So I want to go through that. And then we'll take a look at the charts and see where they may be going from here. So we talk about Bitcoin and Bitcoin miners all the time on this channel. So if that's content that you're interested in, please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Also, if everybody could please smash the like button. So thanks so much, everybody, for all your support. Let's get to Argo blockchain. Okay, so the market just opened here Monday morning. And right away, Argo has popped around 9%, 8.88 at the minute. So that's leaving them at $5.15. So that leaves them with a market cap of 245 million dollars. So when we take a look at the chart, you're going to see Argo stock is still down significantly, but all of the Bitcoin mining company stocks are down significantly. So they're basically within the range of the rest of the industry. This is, however, back to back gigantic days. So Argo is up almost 14% on Friday. They're up almost 9% again today. And again, it's very early in the trading day. So we will see how the day goes. I want to dig into their operational report and see what's going on. And again, I do have one big red flag in here that I want to talk about that it seems like the market is not too nervous about given the fact that since this report came out they're up drastically now Bitcoin's been having a good run and all the Bitcoin miners are up but but Argo is leading the way so people liked this report so let's get to the report and talk about it okay so this is a press release September 9th again that was Friday so Argo blockchain August 2022 operational update Helios hosting agreement strategic hosting agreement Argo is pleased to announce that it has entered into a strategic hosting service agreement with an undisclosed third party. As part of the hosting agreement, Argo will host and operate mining machines owned by the said third party at its Helios facility in Dickens County, Texas. Argo has committed to providing the undisclosed third party with a 32 megawatts of power capacity, which is enough electricity to power more than 10,000 mining machines. The agreement includes a profit sharing arrangement whereby Argo will receive 25% of the net profits generated from the Bitcoin mined by the hosted mining machines. So that's the first thing I want to talk about. There's a lot of these companies now, a lot of the Bitcoin miners are also hosting machines. And I will tell you so far, in my opinion, particularly with Bitcoin at the price it's at, this is not a profitable endeavor. I think the only reason that these companies are doing this is to allow them to get some additional income stream while they build out their facilities. And it's my belief that ultimately they will swap all of these third-party co-hosting machines out with their own machines over the course of time. Otherwise, I'm just not sure what sense it makes. 25% of profits at the current price of Bitcoin and the current price of energy that's going to amount to almost nothing. So the most important thing that I would hope that they have in this agreement is that the third party is paying 100% of the energy costs so that Argo isn't actually losing money on this hosting stuff. So I'm going to leave the hosting at that because really that is secondary ancillary. If they get some extra income, you know, that's actual cash service so they can get paid for that and it can help cash flow and pay the bills in the short term while they're growing. So those are the reasons that they're doing it, but it's not really a profit center. So let's talk about what they really do, which is mine Bitcoin. Okay, during the month of August, Argo mined 235 Bitcoin or Bitcoin equivalent compared to 219 Bitcoin in July of 2022. So there's your month over month. We're gonna take a look at a chart where we show the last year of activity and see how Argo has been doing over the course of time. We'll get to that later in the video, but there was a nice little increase month over month. Okay, so as the increase in Bitcoin Bitcoin mined is primarily due to an increase in total hash rate capacity. The company is continuing to install the new Bitmain S19J Pro machines at Helios, having achieved a total hash rate of 2.5 exahash per second by the end of August. Now, I will tell you, Argo was stuck at about 1.6 exahash for months and months and months while they were transitioning to this facility in Helios in Texas. So they actually had some very tough months, which again, we're gonna see when we look at the chart of their production over the course of the last year. But however, they seem to be back on track. They seem to be growing in exahash. So they're at 2.5 exahash as of the end of August. Argo remains on track to complete the installation of the Bitmain machines by October, 2022, which will increase its total hash capacity to 3.2 exahash. So those are their short-term plans. Those are already purchased and being delivered. So 
They're expecting to get to 3.2 by October. They really haven't given us much guidance past that. They've backed off of their longer term guidance. They are building a much, much bigger facility than this. So long term, they do expect to be at much bigger numbers. However, like all the other Bitcoin miners, they have had to scale back their expectation in the year 2022 just because the price of Bitcoin has gone down so massively. The price of all these stocks have gone down so massively and liquidity has really dried up. So most of these Bitcoin miners have had to shift their focus more on maintaining their liquidity than growing their business at the rate at which they thought they were going to grow it. However, Argo still is growing, so this was a positive month from that perspective. Now I want to get into the paragraph that shows my concern with this company. So I'm just going to read it and then we'll talk about it and look at a few other numbers. Argo generated this income at a Bitcoin and Bitcoin equivalent mining margin of 20% for the month of August. July was 37%. These are very, very low gross profit numbers for a Bitcoin miner, even with Bitcoin down at the prices where it's at. This reduction in mining margin was driven by two factors, an 11% decrease in the price of Bitcoin and higher power at Helios. That's the part I want to talk about. Argo's power purchase agreement at Helios provides for electricity at spot power prices. This leaves them very open to these types of situations, what's happening to them exactly right now. By not having this locked in at some number or some other formula, by just buying it at the spot power price, what has happened here is you'll see in August 2022, the spot power price in West Texas averaged nearly nine cents per kilowatt hour. So that is that is a massive cost. So they go on to say, which is nearly three times the average price during the months of August in prior years. Most of the Bitcoin miners have tried to keep their cost somewhere between, you know, 2.7 is about the best I've seen, 2.7 cents per kilowatt, three cents, four cents, some even five cents, nine cents per kilowatt hour is very, very high. And to have that happen simultaneously with Bitcoin essentially being at or near its two year low, this is a very bad formula. So financially speaking, this was not a good month for Argo at all. A 20% gross profit and that does not include their depreciation they actually have a negative gross profit at this point when you account for all the costs cash and non-cash so the next sentence they say while many factors determine the spot power price in texas one of the primary factors is the price of natural gas so during the month of august natural gas price was up 204 percent higher than the average price during the month of august between the years 2018 and 2021 so the comps year over year are up massively so the chief executive officer goes on to say while our mining margin is lower than expected the record high natural gas and electricity prices are a temporary reflection of a broader market dislocations and we are confident the electricity prices will align with historic trends in the near future so that's the statement from their CEO. I'm not confident of that. We don't know what's going to go on with electricity prices. There's particularly natural gas. There's an awful lot of external factors totally outside of Argo's control because they are locked into buying this at the spot price. So time is going to tell, but this is going to be the absolute number one factor that affects Argo's profitability in the short term, particularly the next three to six months. If natural gas prices don't come down, then they're gonna continue to have these very low margins. Okay, so let's look at their production from a monthly standpoint. This is the last really 13 months. So, you know, we can comp month over month from last year. You'll see they've been all over the place. So this month last year, August, they, they mined 206 Bitcoin. So we're now a year later and they're at 235. So when you look at it from that perspective, that's actually not very good. Bitcoin mining is in its infancy. These are small cap, ultra high growth companies. So you can see 206 to 235 does not represent ultra high growth. However, they did overhaul their entire company in the middle. So you're gonna see they kind of peaked in December and then January they went down to 172. They got as low as 124 Bitcoin per month in May just three months ago. So since then they have clearly turned around. They've gotten things up and running and they are headed in the right direction. So that side of the equation I think is good. It's the natural gas price that's totally out of their control. So they're gonna be relying upon natural gas to come back to a more reasonable price. In addition to that, obviously the price of Bitcoin is gonna make a huge difference in their profitability. Okay, so one more number I wanna look at. This is in their investor presentation, which was updated in September. So that's this month. You'll see in here, they talk about a 71% industry leading mining margin. So this 71 
31% is now down to 20%. So this may be a temporary situation. We know last month it went down to 37%. This month it went down to 20%. In the past, they had been looking at somewhere over 70%. So that is a dramatic, dramatic difference. And again, this is on a cash basis. This does not include their depreciation. They need to see this get healthy again. Their stock is thriving at the moment over the last few days. But again, we're going to go take a look at the charts. It's down very dramatically, as are all the Bitcoin miners from their lows. But to me, this is something I want to take a very close look at. This stands out. This jumps out to me from 71% down to 37%, down to 20%. Okay, first thing is I want to take a look at their chart. This is on the weekly basis. So each one of these candles is one week. So they just started trading over in the NASDAQ. You can see back in September of 2021. So from their high to their low, they were down about 82%. That's actually less than most of the other Bitcoin miners. And where they sit right now is down about 75 or 76% from their highs in November. But if we zoom in, let's take a look at what's been happening more recently. This is Argo blockchain on the daily time frame. So just a few weeks ago, Bitcoin hit $25,000. So at that time, Argo reached a local high of just over $7. So from where they're trading right now, and this is after two big green days in a row, there's still 37.5% upside to get back to where they were just one month ago. I like, I'm like i looking at those as 30 or 60 or 90 day price targets. And with Argo in specific, it's really going to depend on where the price of Bitcoin goes, if that can get healthier. And then in a longer term basis, what's happening with the price of natural gas? Because their electricity costs can't stay up there at $0.09 cents per kilowatt hour. That is much, much too high. So the other number I'll take a look at is we know there was a big relief rally in Bitcoin in the last two weeks of March of 2022. So Bitcoin got all the way up to $48,000 at that time. So at that time, Argo blockchain was trading up over $10, closing in on $11. And you can see actually a month before that, they were actually over $11. So if Bitcoin was to get healthy and get back into the $30 to $35,000 range, if they can get their electricity price under control, and if they can continue to to stick on their plan and get to 3.2 exahash. To me, I think this is a realistic 12 month price target. That's a 107% increase in the price of their stock. So again, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence. These are my price targets. And like I said, there's some massive, massive variables. I don't hold a position in this yet. You guys need to do your own risk reward analysis and see if this is something that interests you. So that's what I've got for Argo on their August monthly update. We will definitely stay on top of this. We'll see how those energy prices do in the month of September because that is the big piece I'm looking at by far. So thanks so much for watching. If you made it this far, please remember to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button and we'll see you in the next video.